welcome to uh, today's pressure point. Um, I'm really excited today. I've had a number of things all seem to come together to kind of point me in this direction towards this pressure point and it's all about habit forming. It's all about forming good habits. It's quite apt given that it's the 27th, let me check, yeah 27th of January 2017 so into the new year and I am one for new year's resolutions. A lot of people aren't, a lot of people hate them but I really like them. New intentions, new ideas, new ways of being. So here's the thing, when you're forming new habits it's really hard. You set a new, you set a new year's resolution or an intention and it doesn't work and you do it once and you do it twice and you, you pay your gym membership and you don't go. So here's the magic secrets to good intentions and following them through. You need three things, you need three things in place. First of all you need the information, so you need to know what it is and the skills to do it and the knowledge and that can come from books and that can come from teachers and that can come from the internet but you need the knowledge to help you put into place whatever it is you want to put into place. So if you want to get fitter you need to know how. If you want to learn to play the piano then you need a, 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 a book that teaches you how to play the piano. The second thing that you need is inspiration. So you've got information, you need inspiration. Inspiration comes in the form of a role model, someone who's done it before, somebody who's walked that path that you're trying to walk before you. Could be a great pianist if you want to learn to play. You might want to watch Jules Holland if you, if you want to learn how to play the piano. You want to watch somebody who's really, really fit uh, and see somebody that's achieved great things, be it weight loss or giving up smoking, or but an example, an inspiration. And the third, and what I think, three, third most important thing, is community. You need a community around you of people who are trying to do the same thing. Now that doesn't have to be many, many people. That can be one other person. If you're trying to set up a business, then perhaps you need other people around you who are also trying to set up businesses. If you're trying to uh, get healthy, get fit, then maybe you need people around you who are trying to get healthy and trying to get fit. And to give you a personal example, there's something blowing about in front of the camera. Let me just remove that. There we go. To give you a personal example, one of the things I want to do is to run one mile, a minimum of one mile every day for the whole of 2017. And my community is one person and it's a woman called Mel. Hello Mel, shout out to you. And Mel is also doing the same thing. So we keep each other on track. We make sure that we are both trying to do our mile. We check in with each other on a Friday. Have you done your mile? Have you managed to do it every night? They say, oh, I got in late. It was really, really hard. Yeah, but I went out the door. And having somebody else who's on the same journey is a really positive way for me to, to get done what it is I want to do. And actually, I'm doing more by setting a modest goal of a mile a day. I'm now on the 27th of January, and I think I've done about 68, 69 miles in 2017, which is fab. I mean, I managed to, that's more running than I would have done if I wanted to just go out once, you know, twice, three times a week. So, if you're trying to set new intentions, if you're trying to operate in a different way, they're the three things you need, information, inspiration, and community. Get those around you, and you'd be amazed at what you can actually happen. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for another Pressure Point. Mm -hmm.